I have the same relationship with cosmic brownies. And I know it's not the same as in the 90s or when I was a kid, because I swear it tasted like real chocolate before. Now it tastes just like chemicals, but something about it, I just can't let go. And today for lunch, my son is having the All-American. That's a chicken nugget curly fry wrap. Just a jizzle of ranch. Every American stream, something oil and juicy and wrapped in something gray with a crack in the back. Or is that just mine? That was weird, why would you say that? He's not even gonna notice it because I stuck a star pick through the side of it. And while he's pondering the fact that that pick is sticking out the side and doing nothing, maybe he'll forget about it being ripped. Just in case, I let him know I'm sorry, the most Midwestern way I know how. Into the bag it goes, and I will put this bag into another bag with an ice pack. And I know what you're probably thinking, why? Hi, welcome back. Does this look familiar? Deborah? don't act like this is your first time. You know why this is here. Stop looking at me. Welcome back kids, it's mom. Today we are making lunch. And I drew a donut on the bread because it's all my kids will eat lately. So maybe it'll trick them into thinking it is one. Also, my favorite part about this lunchbox is removing the expensive thermos and using it as a regular lunchbox. Next, I use my strawberry invader and remove the parasites and then cut them up. They look like little hearts. Thank goodness, how else would I show my love if it wasn't for accidental affection through food? I also decided to cut up a carrot. I did cut the dirt off. Some call it the nutrients. My kids call it disgusting. If you wanna eat your carrot out of the ground, do that. But my kids and I like to get our dirt intake directly from the source. They throw a little in my eye. It also happens to land in my drink. It's two for one for me. And all they have to do is touch it once and suddenly they all look like chimney sweepers. All I'm trying to say is bye dirt. This year instead of a trampoline or anything else for your backyard. You can hey kids, it's mom and today we are making a knuckle sandwich. His soft innards today are going to include an egg salad for one. You start with an unfertilized yet overcooked egg and add a bunch of until it tastes good. Which if you're me is never because I don't like egg salad. Even SpongeBob knew salad had lettuce. I definitely trust the process when it came to this drawing. Kind of looks like the Wendy's girl if she was African American and had purple eyes, but whatever, he was impressed. This is the same kid that truly thinks rocks are still prized possessions and I'm gonna cry when that ends. So let's not go there. I decided to draw an angry looking face on the banana. And does anyone else's kids eat tomatoes like apples? Another day of me using this expensive thermos lunchbox as a regular lunchbox. But it is what it is. We have some eggs on the side and some snacks. I didn't mention, but underneath the other side of this little compartment in my lunchbox, there's actually an ice pack. I'll show you guys that later. So you can have hot and cold together. New feature, pretty sticking cool. Also, uh, do you know the deal? Have you seen this before? Debra, don't look at me. Well, hot darn it, Haley, are you just telling me this now? I'm sorry, guys, I can't anymore. There's nothing I can do about it. I cannot possibly make every pantry item I own. I'll be honest, I'm doing good to keep up on the loaves of bread, which if you notice lately are not homemade. <laughs> also heard the Logan Paul thing was disproven. Hopefully so. Don't care either way, I don't drink it. The only thing me and that man have in common is our first name. My son chose Welch's again today. <laughs> I'm killing this mom thing. They also want their peppers whole lately. Well, they'll either be judged or a trendsetter. A private conversation, Anthony, anything you can say to me, you can say to my 200 something thousand followers. Come on, honey, don't be shy. Beneficial, does it involve feet pics? Cause if not, I think I'm out. It would then be funny if he came to me and said, no, I wanted you to sell rubber duckies. And I was like, no, no, feet pics are nothing. And today we're trying these new space chicken nuggets. Is space even real? Are you on conspiracy talk? Is the earth flat, are birds real? Or are you on the side of TikTok where the lady says if an alien abducted her, she's gonna make love to it? Why'd she low key have a point? I could use some love. Welcome back guys. Today we are making Nutella strawberry roll-ups. Flatten your bread, spread your Nutella, and then I would actually cut the strawberries into strips instead of little squares. I did that the second time around and it was easier to roll. 
Next, I add a little butter to the outside and then I toast it up on a pan for just a couple minutes on each side. And while I'm doing that, I'm gonna pack the rest of his lunch. He had cucumbers, ranch, some peppers, and blueberries. I added some flower picks for fun. You can get these in the Amazon store in my bio. It's like over a hundred for five bucks. Best deal I've found. Kroger had a sale on these meat and cheese stick things this week. So if you have a lot of kids, check that out. See you tomorrow. Welcome back friends to me packing a lunch and you watching. Today we are having nachos and we had this for dinner last night. Unfortunately, none of the meat survived as if it was alive when we cooked it. I can assure you it wasn't, but I decided to cook up some beans and mix it with cheese and add more cheese and put it in the heated thermos. He could dip his chips in it. It was great. Literally, he told me it was better than dinner last night. I definitely think this is something anybody could do first thing in the morning. That sure did sound optimistic coming from me, someone who must have two cups of coffee and at least two hours of silence to wake up. But I try to keep in mind that these are the memories that are gonna last a lifetime. When I'm dead and in my grave, all my kids are gonna be talking about mom's pepperoni roses. And to me, that's a win. Right, so today we are making cheesy roll-ups. The thought of eating this myself makes me gag a little, so that's why I'm feeding it to my kid. I'm kidding, think Taco Bell. They literally sell these things and my kids love them. It's super easy and super cheap. Also, I just showed you how to cut an orange a new way. This will help you and your kid. Your kid can literally peel it at school by themselves if you just cut it in half and teach them this hack. Also, thank you to our helper today, Mermaid's Arm. She broke free just this week from Mermaid's Body. And because bubble wands are like $20 each, I'm gonna get my money's worth from this tiny hand. I love this hack for peeling oranges. It definitely helps my younger kids peel them themselves and be more independent when I'm not around. So definitely watch this video. I love how it makes the little perfect bite-sized pieces and they love being able to do it on their own. And let's be honest, one less snack I have to open, win for me too. You've gotta be kidding me. There was four nuggets. Also, am I starving them or are they starving me? Because all I'm saying is I haven't had a full snack since 2018. And I mean that. It doesn't matter if they just ate. Also, it doesn't matter if they don't like it. If I have it, they want it. And I'm gonna give it to them because if not, one of us is crying ourselves to sleep tonight. A lot of people think because I joke about my kids that I actually don't love them. Just because you made it doesn't mean you can't complain about it. Think about those people that make those annoying kids toys. Yeah, man, elves are the worst. No, like drum sets. A five-year-old does not need a drum set at least not your typical five-year-old if my son looks me in the eyes and asks for one do you think i'm gonna buy him one no but santa might anyway the point is Why are you watching it though? Exactly. And has anyone seen this cup before? I got it when I was a kid and I can't remember where I got it. I wanna say like a Happy Meal, but I feel like that's too good for a Happy Meal. But then again, weren't Happy Meal toys better back then? Or was I just a kid? You grow up and realize everything isn't what it seems. You really can swim after you eat. Lights on in the car at night isn't illegal. And the sound in your basement could have been a murder. You know, all the normal things your parents tell you. Mermaid's hand making a reappearance, still haven't paid her off. Anyone else ever been victimized by a random bubble wand at a children's event? Paid $25 for it, it breaks in one day, then I gotta use its arm as a hand model to pay it off. Remember, I got three kids, so 25 times three equals I got scammed. Knowingly, of course, which is the best kind. That sandwich alone is why obesity is so common in America. Boycott that video now. Also, have you tried? They're delectable. Healthy, no, but will they fill you up? Yes. And will my kid eat it? Yeah. I'll also have you know he will not be eating this meal all day long and every day. It was just the once. I do feed them sugar on white bread, but today I put peanuts on it. This is actually my favorite peanut butter. It's 100% peanuts and like $4. And a mama cookies words, don't worry about my processed food unless you're processing a payment. Thank you. 
Welcome back to Drowning Out Your Health with the American Lunch. Today we're gonna start by making a hamburger, but not in the bun, on the bun. I call it a ham not burger. And I took my two last hot dog buns and made them into fun buns, so you really can't attack me today. I think I've won at life. I'm gonna go ahead and add peanut butter on. My 75 month old won't choke, so don't worry about that. Then I did some grapes. I had to cut them like a peasant because my grape cutter exploded in my hand this morning. It did, it was what? just excited to right. see me. Then I cut some flowers in my cheese. Pro tip, hide the ugly ones at the bottom. And then I added some eyes to my ham not burger. Enjoy. Oh no, wait, stop. Okay, anyway, let's pack a lunch for my husband. Today he's getting five tacos instead of his usual one. What a lucky guy. I was also able to find more relatable cucumbers. Another win for the men, yay. Now I'm also cutting up this bell pepper. I would hate for him to choke. I'm also gonna cut it in the shape of Mickey Mouse. I'm still waiting on that trip to Disney he promised me. Thought this might be a nice reminder. I'm also gonna use the rest of the bell pepper in dinner tonight. So I went ahead and diced it up and got it ready. Now I'm gonna add in some mini tomatoes and some Italian dressing. I'm hoping adding some flavor will entice him to eat the veggies. Slid a little Mickey Mouse on top so he knows I put effort in. Had to leave him a sweet nothing on top of the taco. Is it edible marker or Sharpie? I don't know. Finishing off with some muffins. He only gets three. Life tax. Got a big kid fork and tattoos to share with his coworkers.